Hello, welcome to my quick tutorial on how to do a lithophane on your 3D printer. Doesn't require any software, everything is free to use. The only thing you have to pay for is the light and your materials. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this website here. You can just type in tool.itslitho.com and it will bring you straight to the tool. And we're going to hit upload, choose our image. And I have one sitting on my desktop here. This is a picture of my wife and her grandfather. All right, next we go to the Edit tab. <clears throat> so this brings us to the image. It changes it to black and white, which is the best way to do it. It makes, makes the models come out easier. <clears throat> so everything looks good there. Not going to change anything. And then we go to the Model tab and it gives you a 3D representation of what your lithophane is going to look like. All right. And we can see if we kind of zoom in and turn it to the side, it's got the, the bumps and ridges and all that stuff in there. So we can change all kinds of things here, shape options. Uh, so I'm going to change this to the arc. People most of the time prefer the arc, so you can see that it's now bent. And if we come down to the frame options, uh, so that's going to change the frame on the outside here. I like mine just a smidge thinner, so I'm going to change it to two. And the depth is fine. I'm okay with that. And the angle's good. Um, so we need to go to attributes here. We want to Enable lamp, and what that does is it adds supports and a hole for the light on the back here. <clears throat> so the next step is kind of important. I have my light pulled up here, and the dimensions for this light are in inches, but I converted it to millimeters. Um, it's 2.68 inches uh, diameter. So that converted to millimeters is 68.7. So we are going to change. So we have the filter. It says bulb filter and then the height. And it says 20 millimeters. So the, the height is going to be smaller than that. So we'll change that um, 0.6 inches. It's probably closer to like, we'll just do 10 millimeters because we don't need it to be too tall. Well, let's ask Siri. Hey Siri, convert 0.6 inches to millimeters. Oh, she didn't hear me. Hey Siri, convert 0.6 inches to millimeters. 0 0.6 inches is 15.24 15. millimeters. Okay, so 10 is fine because it'll be shorter than the height of the light itself. Uh, diameter we're going to change. So like I said, that's 68. We need to change that. I'm, I'm going to, you may have to print it a couple times just to get the fittings right. But I think 69 will be nice and snug. And you can see that's kind of a giant light. They, it's hard to find small ones. Um, but, you know, if your image is bigger, th this is kind of a s small image. But if your image is bigger, you know, it'll hide it better. Um, so once you have all that done, you can change a bunch of things. You can change the amount of, uh, like, legs on the back there. But I just, I just stick with four. It's the sturdiest. Um, I don't think we need to change anything in model options. Nope. Okay. So if we're happy with it, we are okay with the image, where it's placed, everything looks good. We hit download here. It says it's generating the lithophane, and once it's done, you want to hit where it says lithophane plus attribute. If you just hit lithophane, it doesn't include the um, supports and the um, feet on the back. Uh, so you can see that I've done this already. Um, we'll drop this on the desktop this time. 
so it's right there and I'm gonna go ahead and open it up just to show you guys what it looks like in my slicing software I use G2Box because I have a, a voxel lab and that's what it came with um, and you can see it's it's a little too big for my printer um, I have to scale it I won't go through that in this tutorial but uh, that's what it looks like in your slicer and you can adjust it to you know whatever you need to to get it to print so I hope that was helpful yep. if you guys have any questions feel free to shoot me a message